This is Chickering's Seven Vectors of Identity Development with Ricer. Can't forget about her. The first vector is developing competence. Say that we have Bobby here who just joined a fraternity. There are three areas that Bobby will improve um, in this vector. These areas are intellectually, physically, and interpersonally. On an intellectual level, Bobby can improve um, just by his gaining knowledge of the fraternity, um, by going to class, um, starting to get exposed to what classes are in his major, etc. On a physical note, Bobby can improve that by um, participating in sports activities, so like football, baseball, uh, and that can easily be done by um, doing that with his fraternity for intramural sports. Interpersonally, Bobby can improve on that just by communicating with other members in the fraternity, so other members in his new member class or with current active members of the fraternity. The second vector is managing emotions. Say that we have Jake here who's currently in a fraternity. Over time, Jake will be able to recognize all of his different emotions. Happiness, sadness, when he's not really feeling anything at all, or if he's angry. The third vector is moving through autonomy toward interdependence. Here we have Susan. Susan just joined a sorority and is battling identity issues. She is emotionally dependent on her sorority sisters and constantly needs the approval of others. Over a period of time, as Susan develops, she becomes more autonomous but still interdependent on her sorority sisters. Through her sorority, she is able to achieve leadership positions in which she can voice her own opinions and ideas. She receives support from her sorority sisters and the Manhattan community. This growth and interaction allows her to develop. This allows her leadership opportunities, self-direction, and ultimately permits her to become emotionally independent. Fourth vector is developing mature interpersonal relationships. In this vector, individuals become competent in maintaining long-term intimate relationships. This can mean romantic relationships or even establishing deep, meaningful friendships with friends or sorority sisters. The individual is able to appreciate differences and understand others in order to develop a mature interpersonal relationship. The fifth vector is establishing identity. Say that we have Matthew who's in a fraternity and as he enters the fraternity, he's not really sure of who he is. With him being a fraternity with many other individuals that are in the same boat that he's in, over time, he'll be able to establish that identity, be able to figure out who he is, and be able to accept um, his identity in society. Sixth vector is developing purpose. In this vector, individuals commit to the future and follow through on important decisions. This could mean choosing a major or creating goals for the future. The seventh vector is developing integrity. Say that we have Jessica, who is currently in that process of developing her integrity. That involves humanizing her values, in essence, um, her thinking what they are, and then uh, with that she personalizes her values, accepting what they are, and then after that she develops that congruence, how um, she's able to balance that out in her um, everyday life.